Hello, my name is Jeremy Banks from Meditate America. Today we're going to talk about Structured Sublot with MCosmos and MeasureLink Real-Time Software. Structured Sublot is a function inside of MCosmos that allows me to send detailed traceability information to MeasureLink. Normally when you run an MCosmos part program, which I'm going to do now, you only have one opportunity to enter in traceability information, and that is with the Sublot field. For example, my sublot field, I'm going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This information will be passed over to MeasureLink, along with the logged in user, which in this example is admin. I'm going to run the part program by hitting OK. The program ran. Now I'm going to toggle back to MeasureLink to look at my data. In MeasureLink, I can see that the measured values were transferred over. If I click on traceability, I can see that operator and sublot was also sent. Some operators require additional information. They want traceability beyond just the sublot. For those, we're going to set up structured sublot. To do that, I'm going to go back to MCosmos. Now that I'm back in Part Manager, I'm going to click on Settings, Structured Sublot. Structured sublot allows you to send additional traceability as a string. The string has a determined number of characters. To set it up, I'm going to click on New. The first two characters are going to be machine, starting with number one, ending at number two. And then we're going to give an abbreviation. I'm satisfied with this. I'm going to hit OK. The first field has been created. This is the first two characters of the structured sublot string. I'm ready to do the middle field now. This field is only going to be one character long. It's going to be the palette. So it's going to start at character three and end at character three. I'm going to call this palette and give it an abbreviation. I'm satisfied with this window. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to do my third field now. This is the fixture. Fixture is going to be two characters, so I'm going to start at four and end at five. I'm satisfied with this. Once again, I'm going to hit OK. Now I have three fields, machine, palette, fixture, starting with character one, ending at character five. So I have a five character string that has these three traceability items. To use it is the same as using sublot. Just run your part program. Inside of the repeat mode wizard, I now have an, an additional enabled button. This allows me to set my structured sublot fields. Notice that it uses the name that I defined to help the operator identify which characters in the string he's going to be using. I'm satisfied with this. I'm going to hit OK. I'm now going to run the part program. Back in MeasureLink, I can go to the traceability field and see that additional fields have been created. Machine, palette, fixture. The contents of the string was divided and put into the traceability fields. There's a 40 character limit with structured sublot. The limit applies to the answers or the contents of the string itself, not the name of the traceability fields. You can have as many fields as you want as long as you don't exceed the 40 character limit. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any more questions about the MCosmos or MeasureLink real-time software, please visit our website at meditayo.com or give us a call at 888 Meditayo.